wet feet already. Nice. Welcome to the video everyone. This was our first quote of the day. She originally contacted us for the gutters, faces and soffits to be cleaned and the conservatory roof. Um, we've potentially upsold the rear patio, um, the roof and the driveway on this one. So quite a big quote. We'll see what she thinks of the price. This video is going to be slightly different. It's going to be a little bit longer. I've got a new camera that I'm testing out. So let me know in the comments if you like this format and maybe we'll do a few more like this. Uh, thanks in advance for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments if you make it to the end. Cheers. Right, first job of the day. Taking some Christmas lights down. A bit annoyed because they've all blown up onto the roof. They've been like that since before Christmas apparently, but the customer didn't want to call me back out. Oh! These ladders, man. They're just clumsy. Lovely, neat job. Beautiful. Come and fuck this ladder. Scary position. <laughs> Thanks. Use these again next year. Faces on the doorstep. Yeah, she's in a meeting. Go on, brother. Right, second house done. Not taking very long to be fair. What was that? 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Beautiful. Job number three. Come on, 10 minute job this. You're making it a 20 minute job. Sure. Right then. Um, gutters, 200 quid. Gutter faces and soffit, 240. Um, we're going to quote for the rear patio. Got to record the last one. This one's number five. Ugh. Come on, come on. Nice. She might not be home. Oh, she is. Morning. Oh, all right. Love that pink door and the pink wreath. Looks so good. These ones stayed up well considering the wind. So I imagine 
with the wind imagine if i'd have put that one up with the sticky with a adhesive one it wouldn't have lasted snookered can i have the knife yeah, yeah. you launch it up mm. go on <laughs> Nice. Does that catch? <laughs> yeah. What? first clip it, unclip the gutter bring it over the roof then do that last and we'll drop it down here and see if it land on the car smelty smart ideas yeah. smelty's standard operating procedures <laughs> shut up <laughs> this one's a uh, i remember this one being a bit dodgy That'll do. Oh. Smouty's dodgy ladder. Either side of these clips. Little tip, if you're putting ladders up against the gutters, not ideal, you want to stand off really, but I haven't got one, so. Um, put them next to these clips so that if they do start sliding around less chance of uh, killing yourself not ideal putting up against these gutters I do know that but um, so that should be the next investment really standoffs for these for these ladders so that we can put them Put them up against the brickwork instead of on here. Was he? Yeah. I think I think they're about seventy quid from Screwfix. Ladder standoffs that bolt onto the end of these. All right. Where's that knife? Hmm. Ah, bluntest knife ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, if you give me that back, I can, I can pop it off because I'm not going to be able to put the ladder there. Yes. Smouty's wise ideas. What was your idea? I didn't even listen. I literally didn't even listen. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, yeah, I didn't listen to the last bit. <sighs> I just put nine gallon in a sprinter. Who was that? Is that a wrestling move? <coughs> Gutters are full. Absolutely full to the brim. Yeah. I think I'll give her a quote for the gutters before. And the gutters. I'm going to leave this in for next year because she wants it doing again next year. I'm going to take a picky. That's the sort of standoffs we need that he's got. Is that what they're called? No. <laughs> Did you just make that up? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Loki's uh, helmet. Oh, I know. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Oh. Wind them up, Buttercup. Oh, what was that? Five minutes? Hurry up then. Yeah, might as well. Two birds with one stone. Shall I go home and... Then we can have a cup of tea, have a smoke home. Yeah. Get the laptops out. Yeah. Laptop. Smoke home. Oh. Yeah, Tuna sandwiches. Cashews. Caramels. I'll get caramels. Cheese and onion. Smelty's pressure washing. I was talking to um, Soph Willis the other day about the rebrand, the big rebrand. Although like. I like the logo, oh. but it's changing from pressure washing to like exterior cleaning yeah, or something. Yeah, it needs but to change. If we're expanding the services. But I was thinking you could keep that and just change exterior cleaning from pressure washing. Pressure washing's too, it singles you up to, out too much to it. Too niche. External, not exterior. Yeah, exterior. Interesting. No exterior. Everyone says it exterior though, I, I want to be different. People probably aren't contacting me because they think I only do pressure washing. Not only that. I know it sounded like a public comment, but I was serious about the waste management type of thing. I've been looking into the licenses. They're only 150 quid for a waste carrier's license. I'd need a bigger van. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I just... Give her a knock. I'm sure she won't mind. Right, I'll put you guys away. Impromptu pressure washing job. I'm gonna sweep all this. We'll, we'll use the uh, shovel on all this. Yeah, Just keep it back into there. Yeah, I'll do that first. Okay. We'll put some hypo down on here. Um, and then round the back. I'll get the water supply hooked up first thing. Around the back we've got a very slippy patio. Might have to move all this. Drainage shouldn't be too much of an issue because it just falls away onto the stones. So. Right then. Wasn't going to be doing any pressure washing today, just the Christmas lights, so. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. I have got another bigger hose reel, but for the smaller jobs, I'm just using this little one. No, and I'm not going to be going more than about 30 meters. I'm going to hypo this afterwards. 
because it's pretty bad. Pull this out just in case we've got any kinks. Don't think we have. Worth doing though, especially on this cheaper hose. Could be limiting your water pressure quite a lot if you don't. Mm, see that bit's quite quite flat there. I'll pull that all the way out. A bit better. Filling up slowly. I'll get my boots on. <clears throat> and you've got a tiny bit in here. Zach thought it'll be enough, but I don't think it will, so I might have to go back and grab some of that. Uh, gloves. Don't want to start touching things with bare hands if I don't have to. Bring you down a bit, I reckon. Might be better. Yeah, I reckon if we just do a light rinse on this, it should get all the all the stones out. Gonna get dirty. <coughs> I think it'll be alright. Just do a light a light brush. A light brush back in there. Um go to the end of this yeah. drive line. <coughs> Zach, while the tank's filling up, I'm gonna start moving stuff out the back. So we've already had Five. We've done one big quote this morning, done another two this afternoon, and we've had five Christmas light removals. And it's it's only like midday, so we managed to squeeze this one in, which we, we hadn't even planned on doing. It was just uh, came in late this morning, and uh, thought we might as well get on it this afternoon. Got nothing else to do. Oh, look at that thicker moss. What do I do with all this? What do I do? Use this to keep the door open. And then we'll probably pull this out round here. Don't know if I'm going to move all that gym equipment, we'll see. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Same barbecue as what we've got. Aldi special, I think. Oop. Tell me, do you still love me? This is so slippy. I 
cleaned the gutters out recently and I had to put the ladder on this and it was just uh, very risky. Lucky I didn't pull that off. I hope you guys are remembering where all this went, because I'm not. Oh, good spot for these, right next to the hot tub. Hello, oh, right. yeah, are you? Yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. It's the brother's You're up. I'll get you the dust brush. You could, you could use the X jet to rinse it, but the, the only thing is, you're going to use so much water with the X jet. If you use the green nozzle instead, you might preserve what water we've got in the tank. I'll just clear in. I think so. Just give give it all a light rinse. <coughs> if you can get some of these white stones out, that'd be ideal. But what with the brush? No, with the pressure washer. Oh. But if we start pressure washing this close, it's going to change the whole colour of just this section. Yeah. So we don't really want to do that. And the problem is, it's when you're pushing the dirty stones on there. See how filthy they are. Yeah. They're not nice and white. Slipped. <sighs> Does this come apart? I don't want it to come apart. feet. Oh god, I slipped again. Oh. Back broke. Slipped again. Where's this gonna go? Over there, maybe. Give these a rinse down. Oh, if I leave these here, I can rinse all them down afterwards. God, I'm clever. Apparently there's a storm about to roll in. Might give this a little sweepy first. I think I'm gonna leave this, because that is full of water. Would be nice to move all this, wouldn't it? Do a proper job. Oh God. Plasterboard. I mean, they're not gonna want that, shall I? Crush it up and put it in the bin.
get some before and afters. Try and make sure I remember where I took it from. Who's that talking to over there? I might just shimmy that once I've pressure washed one bit. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Put my wellies on. What was that, Zach? I was just trying to get to the steam oh. thought, it, <coughs> thought it was an ink. I thought it was an incoming quote. No. Um, um, well, do you want to go first or me? Or do you just want to do the back and then we'll do the front together? Yeah, I think do it together. Using the high pressure. Yeah, get the. We'll get the little turbo. We don't need loads of water here. Turbo Nazil. Turbo Nas. Will you stop niffling? Right then, I'll feed you. Might want some wellies on. Watch this car. Uh, they're like soak away stones, so we'll be all right for drainage, I reckon. Go as far as you can go, just so we've got the hose. Okay. I'll turn you on, Scotty. I forgot how to use this thing. I haven't used it in ages. Satisfying video this one. I get, I get a time lapse. Got my new camera, I'm using to film all this now. Now these videos take a lot of time and effort to film and edit on top of trying to run a successful pressure washing business. If you find any of the information in my videos useful, then I'd like for you to consider becoming a paid member of the channel. Circle members and above will get access to my private Discord for members only, where you can pretty much get a hold of me 24 hours a day for inspiration, technical help, marketing advice, or just a general chat. I post pictures and videos that you won't see on any of my other socials. You'll be the first to hear about giveaways, special offers and announcements. And it's just generally a nice place full of like-minded people who are all heading towards similar goals. We've got various different experience levels. We've got a few professionals in the chat as well. If you wanna push your business, in my opinion, this is the place to be. We also have two other membership tiers. One is just to show a bit of support for the channel and the other one is for boosted members which will not only give you access to the private Discord but also loads of high quality promotional images for you to start your business. I know what it's like when you're ready to get going but you don't have any before and after pictures to put on your leaflets. 
At the moment there's about 150 images that you can use for pretty much whatever you like and my intention is to constantly update these over the next few years with all of my before and afters that have helped promote my business. Last thing before I let you go, new videos come out every Monday night at half five and then I go live at half seven to chat to you guys and answer as many questions as possible. We do live quotes for real customers and just generally keep up to date with everything going on in the pressure washing world. Thanks for watching, back to the video. The difference with this front bit after the hypo has been down for literally five minutes. All the algae has gone, all the green has gone. Just a bit of dirt left from, uh, from the mat now. I need to give this a quick rinse, be alright. Still got some green down here, we're waiting for the hypo to do its thing. Hopefully that'll clear up, I think it will with one more application. Looking good. We have got a few streaks. Um, I'm thinking we might have gone a little bit close. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it is a little bit streaky. Especially here. Might have to do another pass on this in the other direction. I'm not sure whether it's etched or whether the uh, whether we just need to do another hypo treatment again. I'm thinking it's probably slightly etched. Although this bit looks like algae. We'll see. I've only got a tiny bit of hypo left. So I'm just going to have to uh, probably nip home and get some more. Yeah. Can you feed some hose back back through the gate, please? Trouble with the X jet, it uses quite a lot of water, so I've turned the unloader right down and uh, it's quite nice to rinse down, it's quite low pressure. Doesn't kick stones up all over the place.
don't think this will need much. I'm going to let Zach do that, that's really satisfying. Zach! It's really satisfying, do you want to do it? I've already hypoed it and all the algae's come off already. Have a go on that, it's so nice. Get it towards the house? Yeah, just through, quite close. Bit of that. Beautiful that is. And then Zach's just gonna probably turn the pressure up a little bit and just give the road a rinse. I'm just gonna go and put some more hypo around the back. Gonna have to go and get some more to finish that bit off. Yeah, so on, on the front here, we've just basically just tidied up the stones and we're just giving all this a rinse. Nothing too dramatic. So, we could properly pressure wash this and get all the stones and all the moss out. The only thing is, it's uh, permeable block paving you can tell by all the ridges and they're fairly new builds and so all the new builds now they're using permeable block, block paving um, it's like flood defense sort of stuff rather than re-sanding it and so it's just not really worth pressure washing just a line across there and a line across there and just pressure washing all this area and then we've got to fill it back up with grit and it's just a uh, she just she just wanted it tidying up really so it's Zach's made a big difference it's just not really worth fully pressure washing it I don't think Zach's cleared all the stones up as well the path looks amazing so yeah I think I'm happy with that it's also the land as well, isn't it? yeah and it doesn't belong to her so it's like we can tidy it but I, w I wouldn't really want to get involved with pressure washing something that she doesn't own so the hypo didn't clear all of the streaking. It's cleared all the, the algae streaks and we just need to go over some white spots over there again. But um, I've just gone over this slab in the other direction and it's cleared the streaks now. So I'm just gonna do that the same on these other ones where you can see there's, there's lines going back and forward. So we'll get them sorted. All right, all finished. It's come up well to be fair. A few bits down here like paint from the fence that we couldn't get rid of. Um, all the streaks are gone. Everything's rinsed down for a second time. Furniture put back. Looks great. Gonna pack up now. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. We were gonna call it a day there, but instead I think I'm gonna message Barbara and see if she wants her gutters doing today rather than leaving it until tomorrow. tomorrow. Little bonus banquet bonus sneaky peek. I love that photo. When did you put that up? Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> she's seen it, she's read it. Yes please. On our way. It's that simple. How many jobs have we done today? Five? Seven. Five Christmas light removals. Six including mums. Um, we've done that two. Job there, washing we've job. done two quotes. We've done that pressure washing job, and now we're on our way to a gutter job. That's insane. For one, it's not even two o'clock. Right, back at Barbara's. Put that on the wrong way around. Why are you breathing so heavily? I don't know. I it's it. gross. <laughs> really Just pull it up.
I'm going to get the ladder up this bit just so we can see what we're doing. I've already got one in I from earlier. That'll do. It doesn't go on there very nicely, does it? No. To do with a new end. A new nub. New nub end. New new. Pansy. Poorly. That'll do, innit? Yeah. I'm not going to bother with hell. What are you on about? How do you know? I'm sure things are going speechless. Oh. Okay. Come here a sec. These are quite tight, these gutters. Oh, he's done a good job, though. Just these corners, innit? Plugged up. Turn it off. It's blocked somewhere. It's blocked. Can you take the end out of that? Yeah. Turn it on. That's still sucking. Put your hand over it. That's got it. Back in business. You just need to um, come down a bit. That's it. And get sort of under the tiles a little bit. But you've done a good job. The rest of it's clear. Yeah, keep doing that. That's it. That's it, yeah. Yeah. That'll do for an after picture, I reckon. I think that hose hasn't been washed out. Sounds like there's stuff in it. Right then, just got the back to do. I'm gonna move you down a little bit, about there. No, I haven't got up there yet. That'll be alright then. Non-stop messages. Yeah. Just my phone, just keeps constantly <coughs> going off. Can we just test that? Fine. <laughs> can you remove it down? Yeah. Still think it down it now. If I'm looking down like this, can you see the hoover? Hey, I'm so I'd go a little bit more. A little bit lower? Only a little bit. <coughs> uh. 
Ah. Do you want me to do this one or do you want to get up the ladder? I love looking that bit as well. She's asked how much for that one, but I just said we'll just throw it in because we're here and she's nice. Yeah, there's quite a bit of leaves and stuff in there. Tight like a tiger. Uh, yeah, these. Yeah, these are pretty full. Yeah. Focus there. Bring it here, brother. Some it's blocked. Can you um? No, suck it, suck it back through the other way. That's annoying. I'm gonna go and help him. Feel useless stuff sat up here. This uh, needs tightening. What's going on here? That's what I was saying. Earlier. <coughs> Feels like there's a spring gone. Mm. Did this come off? No. It was like that. That's what I was saying, it didn't feel right. Yeah, we're missing something there. Missing a spring or something. Yeah, that's not ideal, that isn't. Have to have a look at that. See if we've see if we've lost something pulling it in and out. Maybe. No, no, that was new, new. When? Yeah, so I'm wondering if we lost something taking it out of the van. Yeah, you're on the roof. Where are you going? Uh, back this way a bit. This way a bit. That's it. That's it, yep. Beautiful. This one now. A lot what? Suckier. Yeah, I think it's easier with the big back. Yeah. We were discussing earlier about not having the panther in the van and having to use the big vacuum instead today. Um, it sucks. Obviously with the triple motors it sucks a lot harder and you get more out the gutters quicker. Um, but the panther's just easier to move around and smaller to get in and out the van and stuff. So a bit of a toss up really. Don't know what I prefer on jobs like this. Got some pine needles here. Uh, yeah, but... oh. That'll do actually, just leave it in there. Hello. 
No base pole. No man's pole. Actually, stick stick that on the end. Oh. Much easier doing it like this with the lower ones, <laughs> bungalows and stuff. When this goes in, this plastic plastic coupling is so much more difficult than the rubber one we've got on the uh, wire reinforced hose. It's just slightly too big, isn't it? Maybe it's been squished. Okay. Yeah. That suction's insane. <laughs> She's taking these down anyway. It's broke. You're not a big enough boy? Yeah. <coughs> right. Might be these pine needles blocking her up. Need the hoover maneuver. Maneuver that hoover. Yeah, that's fine. Ah. Uh, that that spring. That spring isn't clamping it because there's no spring, it ain't clamping down. No, no. That's annoying. I think you need to bring it closer. <laughs> Wouldn't have this problem with the panther. No, no. That's what I mean. Yeah. Ah. Done. Beautiful. I'll put these back on the van. <clears throat> we like a well oiled machine. <sighs> Tap. Oh, yeah. Are oh, we going to do sucky? Yeah. Do you want to ask? Do you want to knock on the back door and just ask if we can tip it in the plant plant bed behind the shed? Um, it's all good stuff. Is it no, that's a gutter one. Is it? Shall I ask? Just that into the back. Yeah. So this doesn't often happen. Um, we've got nowhere to dump all the moss. Um, usually the, the customer lets us throw it in a compost pile or garden waste bin or plant borders, but um, there's nowhere to put it here. So we're just going to take it away with us for today. But we are going to fill a bucket of water and uh, vacuum some water through. 
um, to clear these hoses. I will do. Yeah. Do you want to bring this back through then? Huh? I need to put it in. Just realised there's an outdoor power supply around the side there. Could have done that instead of plugging in through the window. Not to worry. I think there's a bit of hypo leaked out into this. Okay. We've also, we're going to be pressure washing this in March as well. Also quoted to pressure wash and resand all this, so. Is that enough? Go on then. Okay, so you want to do that after after every gutter clearing job to keep the hoses clean. Yeah, I think a little bit of this hypo might have leaked out. Go on. This cable barely fits on this reel, it's so thick. It needs to be able to handle 3,600 watts. But also I think the, uh, the start up, the, uh, the initial burst of power when you turn the motors on, it, it sort of peak, peaks a little bit higher than that I think. So um, I can't see the details on there. Good to vacuum systems sell these anyway. So I use this one for the Panther, this one for the uh, 3600. You are. Right? Huh? Built in LED display. What are you talking about? I need a bigger van. Is there a lot in there? Oh, good lad. Yeah, it's fine. Just can't put the hose back in there now. I feel like that's wonky. Yeah, can you see anything on the floor where we might have lost a spring or something? That's annoyed me, that does. I reckon it happened at school. I lost the wheel the other day, this fell off. Just all the rattling and the 
moving around. Don't worry, I'll order another one. Can you help me lift this? Three, two, one, Jerry. Ah, oh, you already put the ladders on. What a legend! I know I'm good enough. Smooth oiled machine. Well oiled machine. Smooth oil. Smooth up right. So in theory this is nice and clean now because we sucked everything through. Job done. That's that's the day done. Quote. Yep. Five Christmas light D installations, a patio pressure wash, a little path, <coughs> and then finishing the day off with a gutter vac. And we've still got time and two quotes. to do some quotes. I'd get I would done the quotes, can we? Well we can um, finalise that I'd roof. Get that lady in. It's not nowhere near dark. We've got blue skies. Get what lady in? Over in Europe. Bank. That's the bank. Do you want me to ring her? Say hello. <laughs> Just say hello. No pressure if not. We've had a cancellation this afternoon. We were available for three o'clock. That's lying. We haven't had a cancellation. Why would you lie for no reason? Uh, where is she? So, Davina's a no-go for this afternoon. The Warsaw quote has just come back. You don't like it when I just park in the middle of the road, do you? Oh, the steps go down to the house. I thought the steps went up to the house. Indian sandstone, no pointing. It's a nice little one, that is, to be honest. That'd be a good before and after. Blast all the pointing out. You probably need some movement there. Oh, it's not Indian sandstone, actually. Move that chest freezer. That's just uh, concrete slabs. They're made to look like Indian Wash sandstone. Wash down as well. Um, any drainage, yes. The trouble is, there's no rear access. To what? Could do all the wall tops. Let me read. Um, we have an internal tap in the garage and an outside supply access. An outside supply access can be seen on the pavement just in front of the blue car, which is now a white one. Can you go As I mentioned, the only access to our patio is through the house. I'll try to call you later. Cheers, Peter. So, it depends if he's happy with us taking hoses through the house or not. Yeah, well, so as long as you're happy with us taking hoses. That would be a lovely job to repoint. Yeah. He wants it washing and repointing and the drive doing as well. That'd be a nice little one well, to do. I mean, we've got a few dust sheets though. Chris has got a couple of dust sheets. You can oh. always chuck it in the tank, they're probably dirty. And then... We'll figure it out. You can always wrap the hose in dust sheets. Yeah. Anyway, that's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.